Hey everyone, this is Mr. Gibson. Um, scoured the internet to find a way to make Excel documents completely square all the way through, basically graph paper. Um, it was hard to, but I found a site on Tech Republic uh, that did a tutorial on this, so I'm just going to do a video tutorial on it. So, first thing, insert shape, a rectangle. You can kind of place it wherever you want to over here. Um, I'm going to, under the Format Ribbon tab here, going to turn off the outline so I know that the size of this will be true here in a minute. Right click, Size and Properties. This will pull up a menu on the right side here. To make half inch by half inch uh, grid paper or graph paper, um, I'm just going to click the arrows for the height and width to make them half inch. You can make them smaller if you want to, um, but for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to show you how to do half inch by half inch graph paper. Come to properties and you want to click don't move or size with cells. As we change the size of the cells here in a minute, we don't want it to change the size and shape of our shape over here. So click and drag, put this in the top left hand corner. Um, if you, let's say we have it over here, if I click and drag it and my mouse is over here in the left hand corner in the gray sections, you'll see that it's got a cancel sign and if I let go, it will pop right back to where I started from. So make sure that when you click and drag it to the left hand corner, you keep your move icon mouse in the grid area. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just place that very nicely in the top left hand corner. And I'm going to hold down control and use my scroll wheel on my mouse so I can zoom in closer to see this. Um, one way to do this would be to size each cell up one by one. So I could size a one cell to fit the square, move this over, and do this for all thousands of the cells that we have in this sheet, right? That would take forever. So just hit undo, control Z. Instead, what I want to do is do all the cells all at once. To do that, I'm going to click the triangle to select all the cells in the entire sheet. And I'm going to move A. Between A and B, I'm looking for those double black arrows you can see there. So you just click the line between columns A and B. And then, boom, one and two. And now you can see that all the squares of the entire thing um, have all formatted to this one size. So rather than doing each cell one by one, we have made graph paper for the entire thing just by clicking this triangle and then moving the columns and rows to fit the size of the circle of the square that we've made. And that's it. So now I can just click delete this and now I can just start working. Thanks.